Hello, my name's Robert Adams, and I'd just like to take you through a little walkthrough tour of our CD-ROM Farmyard Friends Bowfront cards. And in this CD, you've got everything on it you need to make these lovely Bowfront cards that look amazing, but they fold flat and can be posted in a regular A5 envelope. What we're going to do now is just pop the CD in and I will just click on to here and we'll take you through. Now you'll see if you've looked at the woodland wildlife, if you've seen that then you'll kind of know what's coming on here and if you haven't um, I'm just going to run through now everything that you'll find on the CD-ROM and tell you a little bit about it. So I'm going to start off with our farmyard images here and I said it's all about making these lovely bow front cards and you're going to get all the templates our images here some wonderful backing papers and all the templates again for our bag boxes and envelopes we have an internet tutorial which you'll find on our website and we've also got our printable instructions on the cd-rom and the assembly instructions again I'll, I'll talk through that in a moment for you and um, I've up here we have our updates and downloads as well if there's some extra little bits and pieces they can be can be found there for you. So let's start off with our farmyard images and you'll notice here that we on our menu page we've got our bow card farmyard images and our bow card farmyard portraits and then farmyard card images and these are square A5, A6 and A7 images that um, you can use in your regular card making but to make the bow uh, front cards we're going to use these ones here this is a little bit taller and they're designed to fit into the, the template which we're going to have a little look at a moment so we click onto the page and up comes the main navigation here and there's 20 images in this set so we just click onto the first one and you can look through see what sort of takes your fancy um, I think a cow for me today and this is the main image that we're going to work with here now you'll notice you've also got another two images here because also on the CD we've got the template for you to make a smaller card as well. I rather like playing around with scale. So this one here is 71% reduction and gives us our smaller bow front card which is rather fun. And there's an even smaller one here. Now I haven't put the template on um, but if you want to and you're feeling clever you can have a go at making wee ones if you want to. So that's why we've got three images on there also because there was room to fit them on and I thought at least with these two it would be rather fun. Okay, so it's a simple case of sort of click, print, and, and then craft on there and just look through if there's something that you like. And again, I've just based it on, on the various animals. Here's one of a farm cat um, that we've got as well. And they're, they're designed to fit and work. There'll be an oval shape here, um, and you'll see that on the template. But you can also cut the cards to different shapes, and I, I should mention that when we go and have a look at it. So here's everything on our first set here. And it's all to do with animals that you're gonna find on the on the farm. Um, I was lucky enough when I grew up to live on the, uh, in farming country on the moors and we were on a, lived in a small, it was once a sort of a wildlife farm really. Um, and it was a really lovely experience, but the, the, the sort of being back to nature with the wildlife one and with our farmyard friends, very close to my heart here as well. Now we've got some lovely images on here for you. And and um, if I just say click onto the horse here. Now again to mention these are a combination that I've worked on their, their paintings and paintings from and with photographs. So they do look, um, sometimes they look quite photographic because they're reduced down so much. If you blow them up you'll start to see some paint brush marks and bits and pieces on there. But I've gone for this style that's a little bit softer than a really harsh photo but photo realistic. Um, which was kind of my bag when, when painting. Uh, and I, I hope you enjoy them. And I uh, said so there's just a whole range of different animals and bits and pieces on here to, to, to work with. We've got our turkey, and we've got <laughs> my favourite, the farmyard pig. <laughs> oh, I can so relate to this one. Um, but uh, he's got a lovely smiley face. They're actually quite adorable animals if you ever get to know them. Um, and there we go. So again, um, you've got all of these on here for you which reminds me and i've forgotten if you've looked at the wildlife one i forgot to mention it all these images come as pngs as well so you can blow them up and shoot them down as a size if you need to as well but so we've got a lovely range of animals on here for you to work with and they're all designed to fit within this lovely oval shape when it comes up on the card 
and so simply navigate and we can click our way through now separate to the wildlife one these are actually different animals that i've put on to, on here and there, it's a whole new step we've got eight of what i call the portraits it will be noticed that i used to paint a lot of animals and dogs here in particular and so what i've got here is, is this lovely portrait of the farm dog here um, and uh, again, a working animal. Sorry, I'm laughing. <laughs> My brother got bitten by him. <laughs> they normally be very friendly. So uh, just bringing back memories, having a look. Um, and there we go. And of course, with the cattle and the cows. Um, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna got so many stories to tell, but there we go. <laughs> They're not so friendly sometimes. I mean, lots of uh, the idea here is we've got wonderful wildlife images for you to work with. And if you pick something you know that someone might like and uh, you, as I said again, these are, these uh, majority of these are painted, and um, I, I just hope you have a bit of fun with this as well. Here we've got the laughing pig, so it's all good fun as well. Rabbit, a bull, um, our little sheep here, and uh, our cockerel as well. So they're designed to work within the template. So let's go and have a look at that now. And here we go. I'll click onto it. Now we've got our bow front card template, and your all your instructions will come on here and we'll look at those in a moment uh, and there is also a cd-rom for you to have a look at because i find sometimes it's nice just to have a little look and see how to make things now we'll have the main image here which you'll print out before i forget to mention this is if you want it to be text editable you may or may not see a blue text editable box up here it depends on your computer system and how adobe reader is set up and again all of these run off of adobe um, but if I just click onto there and bear with me with half a hand, H A P P Y, you can see up comes the typeface. You can highlight this, you can change the color, the style, and the size. Size wise, you're pretty much there to be honest because you're going to go over the edge um, if you go too much bigger. And uh, I've deleted these just in case if you're making these cards, you're not very computer literate, it frightens you a little bit. How do I get rid of the text? But it is sitting there for you if you want to use it. Now, I mentioned that we've got the smaller cards, and I'll just have a quick look at that again. It's just going to be a mirror image, but it'll say small bow front cards. And we've also got blank templates. Now, again, I've got happy birthday, happy birthday. If you're working with the backing papers, you can simply highlight these, click onto it and you can delete it. If you don't want it there, I'm gonna bring it back. And again, you could happy birthday, and you could write the person's name down here. And then I would print this out first of all, and then print it on top of my backing paper, and that will give you the imagery to work with. Uh, a point to note here, and I've, I've done this in red here, we've got the oval, that works beautifully, but there's nothing to stop you turning that into a square shape if you want to. You could just draw around that into a well, square, sorry, a rectangular shape, and that works equally as well. So that's something for you. If you've brought the template set, you'll see that the square actually comes with that to help you draw it, but it's a simple matter to work with. And you could also use your dies as well if you wanted to. If they cut roughly into that shape, you could work with that as well. OK, so we'll click on to return there. Again, we've got the base panels here. The cards really genuinely are very, very simple to make. Um, I started off with complicated elastic band and pop-up mechanisms and everything and have just come back to this really lovely, easy to make, simple method that makes the most amazing cards. And on the back panel here, you have a choice. You could do it in white if you don't, but if you want to, you can match everything here. And again, this has got a greetings messages for you that are all text editable. If you don't want them on there, but you love the backing paper on this part, simply highlight them and delete them and they'll not show up. And same again goes for the blank template here. You can simply delete everything if you don't want it and then work from there. So as we come back, uh, let's have a little look now. Um, uh, just a quick word to mention when we've made our cards, we've got our boxes and envelopes here, and you'll just use the backing templates and overprint on top of the template here. Most of the time, your card 
will pretty much fit into a regular A5 envelope. But of course you can make envelopes. If you know, if you've followed me before, you'll see that I love making envelopes. Have this thing about it. I love it. They're so simple to do. Probably one of the most satisfying craft things you can do. That's enough. I will continue. Um, but I've clicked a pot on here, the Bowfront card envelope. Simple to work with. It's just a little bit wider and a wee bit deeper if you want to make your cards um, perhaps a little bit with a little bit more embellishments on them but they'll still fit within the envelope remembering of course we've got a five millimeter rule i think it is for the for the post but the nice thing is these will go as regular letter post as well okay backing papers uh lovely backing papers again 40 on the set in the total sets here 40 uh, full color and 40 in tints as well and each of them there's generic ones for sort of the farmyard but every animal will have its own paper that sort of matches with it as well so if i click onto here we've got our chickens and our roosters and our geese so a little bit of a mix match there for you um through to uh, our, our ducks we've got our lovely farmyard duck who lives in the pond, usually just outside the front of the house. Um, we've got our pigs, again, watercolour piggies. Um, and slightly, uh, uh, this is a, almost a modern arty cows, but it, it works. You'll see it when it's printed out. Remember, each of these has a counterpart that's in a, uh, a lighter colour. I've gone for the Shire horse here just as a black and white image as well. So it's so lots on there to play with. And again, that's all in as a tinted paper, as you can see here. And then on the other ones, again, um, some more animals. This is the sheet that was on the front there, all our cows. There's watercolour cows for you. And just a whole host of different animals here in a more of a sepia print for you. And then our textures as well. There's additional straw, there's a large straw, and then a, this is smaller, so it's more detailed. Um, our hay bales because you may want to, my original plan was to sort of cut out a square out of these. So you could do that print over with the other one and just cut out if you want to as well with a square shape. Uh, we've got our corn seeds there um, and we've got our um, hay bales here and other bits and pieces to work with as well. So uh, a, a few tractors and there's a little bit of farmyard machinery as well to work with on here and finally our two scenes a very very fuzzy one which I, I that was purposefully done and a one that's a little bit more painterly for you here as well so those are your main papers that come with the cd-rom here we have an internet tutorial that will take you to our website we have printable instructions here and we've also got and i sorry just click onto there that's page one and page two let's just take you through step by step how to assemble everything nice and easy and last but not least we've got the printable assembly instructions for the people who then receive the card now the cards are very simple to make and you're going to part disassemble it and all they have to do is just pull the tab, it'll turn into a bow, slip it underneath. And if you've put the top panels on, you don't always have to, but if you want to, I rather like them. They'll just simply pop it onto a flat surface and push those down. And we'll recommend you put two, there's two tabs and you can just put a little bit of double sided so they could glue it into position if they want to or not if they don't want to. But it just shows them when they receive it very clearly and simply how to make it now one of the things i did realize that if you keep it up for a day or two if you make the card and keep it in the bow shape um, i can't guarantee it's going to work for you but mine literally popped up when i flattened it and popped it in an envelope it had remembered the sort of the memory of the curve and they, they literally just popped up out the envelope i just put the tag in on the back and popped the tops down they are very very simple to make they look lovely and I think they're just absolutely wonderful cards. Really, really enthusiastic about this. We can have a little bit of decoupage on the background here. Um, we've, you can even do simple pop-ups. If you put the slap, the the flaps on there, the top and the bottom of the end caps, as I call them, and fold them down, you can create a, quite a lovely um, 3D effect on the cards and a simple pop-up within the card as well, which all happens as they as they push everything down. And um, I hope to do a little video showing you about that as well. That's an additional feature that we were uh, we, we were going to bring you a little bit later. I thought we might as well have a look now because it's really good fun. Anyway, I hope this has inspired you to have a go. I said we've got the sister 
CD to this, which is the uh, Woodland Wildlife, and it pretty much follows in a similar vein as well. Enjoy making your cards. I hope you have as much fun making them as I do. Enjoy your crafting. Take care. Bye-bye.